Hello everyone, Dr. Stefan Kolomerczkov here. This is a video abstract on um, highlighting a recent study that my colleagues and I published in the International Journal of Sports Science and Coaching, which is a British journal. It's a peer-reviewed impact factor journal which aims to bridge the gap between coaching and sports science. Uh, the journal is uh, indexed in Web of Science and Scopus and has an impact factor of 1.3. Now a little bit about this study. It was on nutrition and body composition of elite rhythmic gymnasts. It included, the study included a unique sample of world-class competitors. There were 21 elite rhythmic gymnasts in this study. They were between the ages of 12 and 27. They were all from, from the Bulgarian national team. Now the first group from our study actually were the 2016 Olympic bronze medalists. Okay, they were also the gold medalists from the 2014 World Championships in Rhythmic Gymnastics. Now the second group were the 2017 World Silver medalists and 2018 World Gold medalists in Rhythmic Gymnastics. I also presented the main findings from this study at the biggest conference in sports and exercise science in Europe. That was the ECSS Congress in Prague in Czech Republic last year in 2019. You can find a lot more information about this study and about our published article on our stksport.co.uk. You can also share the, um, this information on the social media platforms. So it's quite interesting that rhythmic gymnastics is one of those sports in which spe special consideration is always given to the diet of the participants, what they eat, as well as their body appearance. Now, the purpose of this study was exactly to assess the nutrient intake and the body composition of elite rhythmic gymnasts, and also to compare these results with guidelines for female gymnasts. Now, those 21 rhythmic gymnasts that I mentioned who took part in this study, they were divided into three groups. The first group were actually the first national team, the second group were uh, the second national team, and we had a third group. These were the younger gymnasts, and they were the junior national team. Now, body fat and muscle mass were estimated by skin fold methods, and also we applied a food frequency questionnaire in order to assess the nutrient intake of the gymnasts. In terms of results, I can highlight a few here in this video abstract, but of course, you can go and uh, check the whole article either on STK Sports or on the um, official website of the journal. Now, the gymnasts showed a low percentage of body fat, that was 13.9% for the first national team. 17% of uh, body fat for the second national team and 15.6% for the junior national team. And also they had high percentage of muscle mass. That was 44%, 40.5% and 37.6% respectively for all of the groups. Now, it's interesting. They kept their weight close to the ideal weight as recommended by their coaches and we came up with the following equation which best corresponded to the recommended ideal weight and that was simply taking the height of the gymnast minus 118 and that was actually the ideal weight for most for the majority of the gymnasts so this equation can be used in um, the practice from uh, gymnasts from coaches all around the world the energy intake was lower than the calculated energy requirements in addition to low intake of fat and carbohydrates. Now, the relative protein intake was 1.7 grams per kilogram for the first national team, the same amount for the second national team, and 1.9 grams per kilogram for the junior national team, and the energy contribution of proteins was a little bit higher than the recommended 15%. And of course, if you look at the whole article, you can find a lot more information. You can see exactly in the methodology section, you can see exactly how we uh, prepared uh, this study, what kind of questionnaire we used to assess the nutrient intake, uh, how the body composition was um, assessed, more information about the participants, more information about uh, the sport, rhythmic uh, gymnastics as a whole, um, things about nutrition, which are important for coaches. And quite interestingly, also you can find information about the body weight management, um, which are the, um, the methods that they were using in order to maintain their weight and their percentage of uh, body fat. 
So I encourage you to go and look at the article if you're interested in, in um, this field, this topic. And you can do that again on SDK Sport or on the official uh, website of the journal. Thank you for listening to this uh, video abstract.